Our brand new cycle of basic Spacelands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to part two with our white weenie deck here. Uh, we, uh, If you didn't check out video one, please do. Um, it was really, really fun. We we actually did okay. We did two and one uh, was our record. Uh, and hopefully we can do something very similar, if not better, this time around. Uh, I would very much enjoy that, uh, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, we're going to try and check frame rates as we go along here. They're getting a little sketchy, but we'll we'll try it. We'll try it. Um, let's just go ahead and play out a giant killer. Let's be aggressive. Uh, Fairy Godmother might have been better, but... Oh, this is pretty bad frame rate-wise, but that's fine. Um, let's do this. And let's attack him. We'll play Tithe Taker. <laughs> Chances are this is like Gruul Aggro, uh, which is probably just going to run us over, but that's fine. Um, we'll see what they do. No, Jund. Jund Adventures. Okay, I'm in. I like it. That's pretty good. Uh, no land. That kind of sucks. Um, hmm. We're going to attack him. They can block here. That's fine. Uh, let's do this. We're going to leave back this other giant killer. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I talked uh, in the first video about the JDC. That is coming back very, very soon. Um, and hopefully we will have a video on that later today that I'll be excited to share with all of you. Uh, but just wanted to give you a heads up. That is coming. Wow, voice crack. That is coming and I am so thrilled. I cannot tell you how thrilled I am for that. I am. I love that idea. It's very similar to what the deck, if you don't know what that is, uh, Day 9 uh, kind of gets together with friends and just plays silly stuff, and it's really, really fun. Uh, and so I'm excited about it. I, I think it's going to be great. Um, it it was really, really fun in the beginning anyway, uh, and so I'm really stoked to see how it goes uh, this time around with a little bit more in terms of things we can do uh, and, so, and better planning, I think, on our end. That's pretty good. Uh, the reason I held back the raise the alarm, by the way, is if they do want to attack in, hopefully, um, I, I do hope they do. I'm super willing to trade one of these guys off. Uh, just because it shuts down a little bit of draw in there, and obviously a blank 1-1 one -one on our side is much better, or much worse, excuse me, than a 1-1 one -one on their end. Uh, let's attack in. Wow, they're blocking. Didn't really expect that. Um... Let's just drop a Hunted Witness, um, and we'll end the turn. This Lucky Clover is definitely annoying if they've got more Bone Crusher Giants, but I'm a little surprised they... Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. I was going to say, I don't know why they would have traded off their Innkeeper there, but I guess that works with the uh, Dead of Midnight or whatever it is, Order of Midnight. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, let's do this. Just get in there. Uh, and hopefully this is, will work. Um, I'm a little worried because obviously, you know, this is a tough one. This is a very tough matchup. But we do have targets for this, which is good. I mean, if they play a Bone Crusher Giant, we just get to kill it. Um, which is fine. Like, they can definitely do that. But Okay. Uh, we can tap that if we needed to, I suppose. Okay. They're getting a lot of value off of these innkeepers, no doubt. Um, well, that just kind of wins us the game. There we go. Do we do it? Yeah, there we go. All right, we got another win. Sorry for the frame rates on that one. They've been kind of bad this morning. Um, hopefully... Uh, we can remedy that as we go along, but very, very happy to get another win with this list. Uh, let's jump into game two. 
Uh, just want to mention also, uh, obviously, we're we're kind of starting to accept uh, deck suggestions uh, relating to Corset 2021, including cards from Corset 2021. If you've got a deck list, our Discord is the place to submit all that stuff. It's completely free, obviously, to, to join, and it's not a big deal. I mean, literally, it's just our Discord. So if you want to join in, you're more than welcome to. This is such a bad keep, but I'm going to do it. Um, I'm so, like, nonchalant about keeping a one lander in a white weenie deck, which is so bad. Uh, anyway, uh, definitely suggest, uh, or definitely would be happy to see some more deck suggestions there. We've already gotten a few, and I'm excited about it. I'm excited to play some of them. Uh, and so if you do have one, please leave it down there. Uh, do also check out, uh, again, the JDC deck submissions channel is now open. Uh, and so we're, we're planning to record a week from today, uh, the first episode. So if you would like to, uh, to, uh, suggest a deck for that, all the, the parameters are very, very simple. All you have to do is have it be legal on MTG arena. It can be any cards. It does not have to be standard legal stuff just has to be a le like literally just playable on arena and that's it um just keep in mind one thing and that's that we're not necessarily trying to win in a quick way we're trying to win in a cool way uh and that is the goal of the of the entire series is to just be silly and do fun stuff so uh just keep that in mind um as we uh or as you're building your deck don't make it uh you know i'm gonna win on turn three or whatever it is don't 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 stress about that. Just have fun with it. That's the goal. Not looking to be anything crazy here. And just like that, they've healed their life. That sucks. Um, a land would be good. Hey, look. A land. <laughs> uh, let's just play this. I'm playing very loose and very quick uh, because, again, we're a white weenie deck. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I will say, though, this does have a little bit of tech in terms of, like, the raise the alarm stuff and, like, unbreakable formation and stuff. There's... There are decisions to make, uh, but the great thing about it is a lot of the time it's it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's not, you know, just negligible by any means, but it's fairly straightforward. Um, let's do this. Uh, yep. Indestructible, my dude. And we healed, like, a ton, so if they want to attack, that's totally fine. Uh, we do have Gideon as well to kind of help us get there. We'll see. We will see. But this is exactly what the deck's trying to do. Um, whether it works or not, I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, Unbreakable Formation might be the best card in this list. In fact, it's the best card in the list. There's no doubt. Um, <laughs> that's just great. Hopefully this works. I mean, they have plenty of open mana. Uh, but, you know, we do have indestructible threats now, which is good. That's fine. They're going to lose probably both creatures here. In fact, definitely both creatures. You can do it. We don't lose any of ours, by the way. But yeah. And now we're up to 41 life. That feels pretty good. Considering we kept a one lander, even if we lose, I feel okay about this. Um, and now they have six mana, potentially seven mana, and we've got... Wow. Wow! That's okay. That sucks, but that's okay. Yeah, you got it. Pretty good, not gonna lie. Um... Uh, let's do this. This uh, kind of protects a little bit against this in just terms of... Um, uh, we're going to give it Vigilance, actually. Uh, just so we can have a blocker. This kind of protects in the against the Shadow of the Sky play a little bit, though, because obviously during um, their turn, it's not a creature, uh, so it can't die. Um... They cycled it for zero. Okay. Um, it also is a creature itself. So, okay. That works. But then they don't get to kill this, most likely. Hopefully not. Um, ah, they bounce it. Okay. We have Fairy Guide Mother, didn't we? We could have just won, couldn't we have? That's eh, fine. Everything's fine. Um, we're going to keep that, though. That's for dang sure. Uh, let's do this. 
We're going to hold back on the stone coil serpent. So now we've got two threats, one of both of which, excuse me, if they die, we get them back. So this has shattered the sky protection as well. Um, so hopefully this coming turn we just win, but we'll see. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, sure. It's pretty cool. Um, how many cards are in their graveyard? So they can't quite get Uro out because Uro is one of those five. If they can play another creature, that's fairly annoying. Um, but we'll see. And if they kill either one of these, specifically this the Tithe Taker, we get a Flyer, which would be great. So, like, that's fine. Um, can we just do this? Woo! We got there. Heck yeah. That actually worked out great. Um, considering we kept a one land hand, I'm kind of in. Uh, we may have missed lethal there, but that's okay. We still got there. All right, moving on to game three. Uh, these are going relatively quickly now. We're on 11 minutes at this point. Uh, just want to thank everybody also for um, for this entire Aquaria season. Uh, we've had a, a really great amount of... Uh, you know, just community involvement and stuff like that. I just want to really take the min take a minute to thank everybody because um, before that, uh, and I've talked about this before for a, a long time. We were doing like cracker packs every week, like three a week, and that was kind of it. And oh, it's a little heavy on the land, but that's okay. Um, and like those were fun, but the reality is that wasn't what everybody wanted to see. Uh, and so we were we were kind of just floundering. We weren't really going anywhere um, And not to say now that we're like some amazing channel by any means clearly we're not but um, We we really weren't doing a ton uh, in terms of Progression of the channel or anything like that and it means a lot that everybody's kind of stuck with us and and um, Helped us get to where we are because I think now, you know with the support on the gameplay in particular doing videos more often um, getting a lot of videos out in fact like it's been really really great um, and I just want to say you know a huge huge thank you to everyone uh, who's been a part of this and helping this be a possibility because it certainly wasn't for quite a while so I uh, really do appreciate it thank you guys really uh, means a lot um, I'm not playing stuff out here I don't know if we should Esper control is kind of what I'm worried about um, probably could have just gone ahead and played the, you know, plus two, plus one on something there, but that's okay. Yeah, glad we didn't play stuff out. Um, let's do this. Um, hmm. We'll do this. Uh, this way, if they shatter this guy, we at least draw a card now that it's at four, four. So, like, that's something. Um. It's also just protection for multicolored, so like Kaya's Wrath, I guess, isn't really a thing. Oh, excuse me. A little sleepy. I'm recording way earlier than I normally do. Uh, actually, that's not entirely true. I'm recording gameplay earlier than I usually do because of uh, I haven't actually been recording gameplay first for the most part. Um, I've been recording announcement videos first, which hopefully one's coming later about the JDC. I'm excited. We've got so many things. So many things. Two to the bottom. Okay. Uh, you. And just do this. We're just going to play this out now because, you know, why not? Boom. Um, yep. And again, we're, we're holding back a little bit here. Uh, they, they've already proven that they've got things to deal with our things. So, yep. Kaiserat does work, as it turns out. That makes sense, obviously. I just wasn't thinking about it. Uh, let's just do that. Um, we'll play out one of these guys. Uh, we're going to hold back on the second one. Not that, you know, we're not going to most likely win the, back, win the game on the back of a giant killer by any means. But, you know, it's something. Hmm. Oh. They let that happen. Hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. I'm just going to keep targeting the heck out of it. <laughs> Make them discard some stuff, man. I mean, they absolutely can save this, but we have a tapper, so we just get to keep targeting the crap out of it. Sure. Oh, they countered it. No, well, that's fine. All right, so chances are we lose now because they have a active Dream Trawler, uh, which is very bad for us, as it turns out. Um, yeah. If they've got another uh, Cry of the Carnarium, they could just, like, literally just annihilate us. Oh, mean. That was so mean. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll see what we draw here. A hawk. Well, man, now we're good. We can do it. I mean... Helping. Alright. We'll give it one more turn, but chances are we lose. And that's okay. Uh, this is certainly a deck that I don't think we have a, a strong hope against anyway, given that they've got, you know, we've we've run up against two sweepers. Chances are they've got quite a few more than just two. Um, I'm not going to block. I don't think it really matters if we do, to be honest. Um, we save ourselves the damage, but they gain the life regardless, and that was kind of what we were worried about. Um, yeah, we get a 1-1. One, one. Go us. <sighs> hmm. Uh, well, alright. I think, uh, we'll see what we draw, but... <sighs> the card I love. But, I think it's safe to say we've kind of lost. Um, just because they can start swinging in like crazy. All right, uh, well, let's summarize White Weenie a little bit. First of all, our record was 4-2, and two, which is actually not bad. Uh, that's a little bit better than I expected. I was kind of expecting a 50-50 shot at this one. Um, uh, what's great about White Weenie is that it's a fairly... It's a fairly simple deck to pilot most of the time. Um, I will say that there are certainly circumstances that would warrant it to have a little bit more of a complicated play pattern. Uh, in particular with cards like Raise the Alarm as well as Unbreakable Formation. It's a bit trickier because, you know, depending on your matchup, you might want to save that Unbreakable Formation. Like, given that we were against Esper Control, it might have been a better option to, uh, it, if we were in a better position and we weren't about to concede, um, hold on to that Unbreakable Formation in case they draw another Sweeper, they try and get rid of our board, we just Unbreakable Formation and, and devalue that spell. Um, so there are certainly instances where I think uh, that that can be complicated. Uh, raise the alarm in particular. We saw on that Gold or, or excuse me, Jund Adventures. Uh, we were able to kind of play it at instant speed after they had declared attackers to be able to block and get rid of the innkeeper. Things like that, I think, are really, really uh, good, important things to think about. But they're not necessarily like super complicated by any means. It's just that's kind of the way the deck plays. Uh, so I do think that this is a relatively speaking easy way to get into, you know, a standard format and very easily kind of pilot a nice deck. It's it's not super complicated. It's not super difficult, but it and it's it's OK. I, I think it can do very, very well. And it's great at going wide. Unbreakable formation, an amazing card in this list, uh, especially given particular matchups. You play it on your main phase like a lot of the time, uh, unless you're against a control list or something that, you know, has a sweeper. Uh, and so you can power up your stuff, give it Vigilance, give it Indestructible, you're good. Uh, you can really, really go over the top with that. And we saw it held its own against Mono Green Stompy. Uh, granted, they they were stuck on lands for a couple turns, so there was we definitely had an advantage there. But, like, that was pretty good. Um, and we saw it do really, really well, even starting with one land uh, in the first game on this video. So... Uh, there are certainly circumstances that make this a really nice kind of flexible deck to play, but in general, it's not my favorite kind of deck. I do think if you like White Weenie, it's a fine place to start, and I think there are a lot of other cards you could consider for this one, so um, just a heads up there, like Hushbringer, for instance, is not a bad one uh, that you could potentially kind of move into. I also think there's a world where you do something like an Orzhov White, you know, kind of a, a mix there. That way it's you get a little bit more trigger-based stuff, uh, but I think you then push into like cruel celebrant territory where 
it's almost like a sacrifice list and i think that's where you're pushing towards that that end of the uh the spectrum but either way it's a fun deck i, I recommend trying it especially since a lot of the cards aren't necessarily like super you know it, most of the wild cards are maybe rare but that's about it um and so i would try it i mean enjoy it i think it's a fun one uh gideon blackblade amazing uh unbreakable formation amazing but overall it's kind of just an okay deck. Uh, it did okay here, and I think that's what you can expect. I don't think it's amazing. Uh, but either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm really excited because, again, later on, hopefully today, we will have uh, an announcement video for the JDC to kind of explain that for everybody. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you very, very soon in the next video. Thanks, guys.